everybody. Today we're going to go ahead and show you the sight-in procedure for EOTech Red Dot Optics. I realize this may be relatively simple for a lot of you guys out there, but for those of you who are new to Red Dots, maybe new to tactical style rifles, um, I hope this helps you out. So without further ado, we'll get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get yourself a steady base. Here we have this uh, shooting rest, but really anything will work, a shooting bag, a bench, whatever. You want to make sure that your barrel is not touching whatever you're resting it on. So that's just one thing to keep in mind, regardless of whether or not you have a free float handguard. So what we're going to do first, we have the target 25 meters downrange. I'm going to go ahead and put a few rounds on it, and then we'll go check it out and see where we're at. Let's see. Before I even turned the camera on, I went ahead and put the dot close to where my iron sights are just to get it relatively close. So if you guys already have your iron sights zeroed, I recommend you do that. So as you can see here, we're pretty close. For the purpose of this video, we are going to try to zero so that the impact is right on the black dot. We're pretty close. We've got to come down a little bit and to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make those adjustments coming up next. Adjustments on the EOTech are pretty simple. As you can see here, the arrow tells you that turning it clockwise will move it down. That's your point of impact now. And in turning it uh, clockwise with the uh, windage will move it to the right. So those are the directions we happen to need to go. We'll go ahead and uh, adjust it. I'm going to move this one over six clicks. And we'll do the same over here and see where we're at. They do make... Um, targets that will tell you exactly how far you need to move it but I'm, I'm going to assume that everyone doesn't have those and uh, so I'm going to assume that and uh, use that just uh, Kentucky windage calculations on here for the rest of the video. Adjustments have been made and we're going to go ahead and send a couple more rounds uh, downrange see what we get. Even using my redneck windage calculations, you'll see here the group's moving in the right direction. We were up here, now we're almost touching just on the black. What I'm going to do off camera here is just go ahead and move it over. I'll move it down one and move it over to the right two. And that should put us right on zero. For the sake of brevity, I'm not going to include that in the video since you've already seen how to do it. But um, I hope this helps some of the new guys out there. Some of you just got into uh, ARs maybe. Uh, AKs, because a lot of people run EOTechs on those, the same process will uh, will apply. It helps help some of you guys out. Um, one question I know I'm going to get is what distance do you recommend zeroing at? For AR pattern rifles, I recommend either a 50 meter or 100 meter zero, but there are a lot of opinions on that, a lot of smart people on all different sides, so I urge you to do your own research on that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.